Let's start with chapter 3.1, Coordinate Systems, where we are going to describe rectangular, polar, cylindrical, and spherical coordinates. This is indeed the first chapter in our uh, section 3. And for you to locate this chapter within the whole calculus in higher dimensions, I can make use of this slide, which I have already shown you, which includes all the things that we are going to study in this calculus section. So multiple outputs, but also multiple inputs. So in practice, when we have multiple inputs, the most typical case is that the input is simply the, the position vector, okay? So that's what we are going to focus on in this uh, chapter, 3.1. Why? Because the position vector can not only be given, so it's always three numbers to describe the position, but th those three numbers might be something different from x, y, and z, which is what you are used to. These three numbers might be other sets of three numbers, which are also used to describe the position. And they can be easier to use when you are describing things such as spheres or cylinders, which using x, y, and z, they have horrible equations with square roots and things like that. But when you use spherical or uh, cylindrical coordinate systems, suddenly it becomes very easy to describe these very well-known shapes, okay? So the first part will be to look at two dimensions, which is the simplest case, and we will look at rectangular and polar coordinates. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.